there are moments in your life where, yeah, it's overwhelming. You're trying to figure out what needs to change about you to get the outcomes that you want. Is it your mindset? Is it what you feel emotionally? Is it like what is it, God? This conversation is for the people that are asking that question. God, (laughs) spirit, ancestors, you know, whatever your belief system is. If you're listening and you're asking the question, who do I need to become to be completely satisfied with my life, my health, my money, my relationships, what needs to happen next in order for me to see in real time what I have been longing for. Sometimes the opportunity is to master being satisfied right where you are, just as you are. We've grown up, many of us, in a culture that is teaching us to achieve, 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 achieve. When do you get to relax into what you have already achieved? When do you get to celebrate who you have already become? I'm not talking about becoming complacent. I'm just talking about evaluating what it is you're striving for and what drives that. Just because you want something, that does not mean the desire is healthy. Every time I go to Food Lion, I want these cookies. It's the most disgusting dessert. (laughs) It is these cookies, chocolate chip soft baked cookies. And in the middle, they put like this thick cake frosting. I love chocolate chip cookies and I love cake frosting individually. But you're going to put them together and make a cookie sandwich and wrap it up and sell it. Every time I walk past it, I want it because I have a bad habit and bad relationship with sugar. But does that mean I pick it up and buy it? No, I don't. What is going on with your desires? Are they birthed out of a whole version of you? Or are they birthed out of your trauma brain? How do you recognize the difference? Because just because you yearn and long for it or just because you have strong desire around it doesn't necessarily mean it is aligned with your highest destiny. And yes, we all get to choose our destiny. But it's going to be hard to see things clearly if you're in a chronic state of yearning, fighting to achieve something. I know that, you know, you get to a certain stage in your life and you start looking back and you can clearly see where you wish you had done things differently. And that's a normal part of your development. There's nothing wrong with that. And sometimes that creates some grief because shoulda, coulda, woulda. Right. If I had known what I know now, my net worth would be higher. If I if I knew now what I, you know, should have, could have, would have. But let's just go underneath all of that. Give your nervous system a slight break. And just look at all you've triumphed through. Some of you listening right now have testimonies where you shouldn't even be alive. You shouldn't have the education you have. You shouldn't have the career that you have. You shouldn't have the business that you have. Like some of you listening have been entrepreneurs for decades, like literally decades. And for some reason, it has become so hard to applaud yourself, to honor your journey, your wisdom, 
You matter. You woke up this morning. That means something. That breath that is in your body right now is physical evidence that God is real and in you. The fact that you can (sighs) mean something. It doesn't mean that you got to go try and be the next great thing in your industry or try to be what everybody else needs you to be. It just means you're here. And that's special. You're important to Earth's plan. I just want to invite you to think about what it is you're trying to do and why. If it's to keep up with everybody else and try to get what other people have, how sustainable is that joy? If it's because somebody planted in you and you were a child that this that you're supposed to be what they think you should be, maybe you got to sit back and decide for yourself who you are and live that from your core. If it's because your religion taught you that you got to sacrifice and martyr and do something for somebody else, like God doesn't need you to be anything. God's going to be God regardless of who you decide to be. So what is the foundation that you stand upon? What's driving the decisions in your life? What's in your mindset? What is in your morals and principles and values? What matters most to you? How does that show up in your thoughts, your choices, and your actions? I love that I'm in a position to influence people to really get in tune with themselves. I've dedicated my life to teaching people how to heal everything. Every single thing. That a woman needs to be empowered, whole, and healthy. My company provides. And the world, the womb sauna, makes sure that there are more women on the planet who know who they are in their core and live from that clarity. And I get to wake up and go to sleep every day knowing that I have directly impacted a woman who will then go and directly impact her household, who will then go and impact their community, who will then go and impact their country, who will then go and impact the world. All because I have decided what I do with this breath I'm given every day. And listen, I cry, I cuss, I too am fully human and divine at the same time. It is not always comfortable doing this class called life, especially when you do recognize your power, you begin to get practice and applying it. And that practice is called adversity. My entire life, I have searched for relief (laughs) from the adversities of life. And that quest has allowed me to become more and more masterful with how to create it because I know I need it. So adversity has become training ground for my power. But that does not mean I don't have the same emotions. You know, sometimes we think when people reach certain levels of success and influence and um, gain certain wisdom, that that automatically means they are exempt. Nobody is exempt from adversity. Just because somebody gets wealthy and rich does not mean that they don't have the same concerns, fears, anxieties about money as the person who feels like they don't have enough like everything is energy and vibrational it all begins and ends with you at the end of every day 
Whatever you're living is your truth. Whatever you're living is your truth. So I invite you to take a deep breath. Recognize that you're not listening to this by coincidence. That it was a divine setup that you found this video, that you clicked on it, and that you're hearing these words. Who do you want to be in this moment? What do you want to practice today? How do you want to express your power? If you need to write it down so that at the end of your day you can reflect on it and see if you did exactly what you said you would do, I invite you to do that. I live and let there be, and it is so. That is what governs how I show up. And sometimes I've said, let there be perpetual financial abundance, and I don't see the dollars in the bank account when I need them. I've been there. I've been there. Um, but do I change what I've decided? Because what is happening externally, I mean, what is happening internally, I don't yet see externally. No, 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 no. I've studied my creative flow and my creative process. I know how I manifest and create. I know based on how much energetic capacity I have, how much emotional discipline I'm able to apply in the moment. I know that my life, my body, my money, all of it is obeying my command. And so I command wisely and intentionally my life. I don't just achieve. I'm God embodied. I create. So do you. For years, I didn't know that this is who I am. It's my composition. It's how I'm designed as a child of God. But once I became aware, it took things to another level vibrationally. Because when you know more, you become more. I'm hoping this conversation is helping you know more about yourself. I'm hoping that if you are new to my energy and you just came into my orbit, that you join my email list at thewombsana.com, that you book an appointment and, and start your journey of going deeper into what it looks like for you to be deeply connected and intimate with your womb and your power. I hope that if you are a healer, way shower, teacher, empower, educator, that you literally will go and apply for my womb sauna practitioner training program. Because we need more people like you embodying this work and this power to help women heal everything. If you want to monetize your God-given gifts to empower women, you can find a home and beautiful community at the Womb Sauna University. We have certified practitioners in 17 different countries and it continues to expand We have people all over the world living, chanting, and offering our message and blueprint to heal everything. We do not just do a spa service at the womb sauna. If you Google or go to the testimonial tab on my website, you will see that the women, hundreds and thousands of people online, rave about our ability to transform their life. We do mind-body spiritual work here. We uh, provide the industry standard in terms of professional yoni steaming and creating a business, um, including this in your business model. We not only teach our students how to do the technical pieces of this work, we teach them to believe in themselves We teach them to monetize gifts, how to use their voice to command income, how to be visible, accessible, and powerful, and set themselves as experts um, on social media and in the, the world, and be a leading voice in the conversation about how women need to heal, and how do they do that. So being a womb sauna practitioner is an anointing, 
It is a high calling. And I am ringing the alarm. Saying come. The application is free. You will um, be able to schedule a 15 minute conversation. With uh, one of our enrollment advisors. To talk about our program in detail. Understand what's in each learning module. Understand how the curriculum is structured. And then you'll be able to proceed into enrollment. And it's an incredible experience. My students say it changes their lives being in the program and graduating from it. So anyway, I'm very passionate about what we have put together. We do have the best training program in this industry um, and have for over 10 years for over 10 years we give our students everything they need to succeed and we encourage them to choose to succeed um, and to win every year now whether or not every student does that is their decision but all of my students know who I am and how deeply involved I am in their success so I hope you heard something you needed to hear I felt compelled to just have a conversation with you about your desires and where they're born from and what's driving you and motivating you. Evaluate what you're standing on and if it's solid or is it a little shaky? All right, so if you heard something that really, really blessed you, go ahead and let me know in the section so I can interact with you. Share this video, like this video, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you got your notifications on because algorithms, right? And if you want more content like this, you have to tell these platforms that you enjoyed what you received in order for them to continue to push the content to you. It's about a relationship. Don't just take what do you give back. Uh, Social media holds us accountable to socializing, right? So I actually am serious when I say I want to see your comments and your feedback and be able to interact with you that listen and hear your thoughts about this conversation all right so you know how to do that below and you can tag me too if you need to and if you have not connected and joined our email list go to the wombsana.com join our email list you'll also see um, at the wombsana.com forward slash events you'll see all of the upcoming events 